Hello everybody, it is L.E. Diecast and we're going to be looking at the N. N case cars today. Uh, we've got, I think I got most of them. I really had not seen much of the M case. We did a review of them, but I was missing a few. And the N case cars have been out for a while. I saw nothing, none of them, anywhere. My Walmart still doesn't have them and uh, the other day I ran into a bunch at a few different stores and I think I got most of them that you all would be interested in. Did not find the treasure hunt. That's probably not going to happen around here but I did find the treasure hunt. The treasure hunt is howling heat. My son always thinks this is a Batman car. I think it's because of those wings in the back. Plus usually when we see this it's in black but it is not. There's the treasure hunt symbol. That is your treasure hunt for the N case, so keep an eye out for that if you care. Part of the Street to Be series. Uh, we are going to open these up, but in next video. I did find myself one Skyline, and I did not think I would see this one for quite a while. There's a convention coming up, so I really haven't been looking that much, because I know I can get anything at the convention. All those people that are buying them up early in the morning will be selling them to me at the convention. Much easier to buy them that way. But I did find one! And uh, yeah, the Skyline. Myself, I don't really... not that excited about the Skylines, but it is part of the end case. It is part of the need for speed. Show, I guess. For a guy that makes video games, I really don't know much about need for speed. But that is the Nissan Skyline GTR R34. And we will open that one up. Did find a Minecraft car. This one's interesting. It was in the last case, I believe. It might have been in the last two. I really don't remember. There's also this series of Minecraft cars. And at least at my Target and Walmart's, these, the Minecraft Hot Wheels with the uh, little Minecraft figures on them. These are in the Minecraft area of the toy aisle. And this is the mainline version. And if you are wondering, is there any difference best I can tell there is absolutely no difference. I only picked this one up uh, because Andrew wanted one and I only found one of the uh, one of the main lines. So there is no difference. They are the same price. Would have been cool if they had maybe just made the wheels a different color or something to make them kind of collectible. But they didn't. So they're both exactly the same. Oh by the way I should point out in case you're wondering there's six of these. They all have different uh, card backs, but they're all exactly the same card. And so for me, who takes the cars out of the cards anyways, none of that matters. I just got one. Did find a yellow submarine. Didn't think I'd find this one either. I've mentioned before, I'm not really much of a Beatles fan. I am the only person evidently in the universe that's not much of a Beatles fan. Yeah, Beatles have never done anything for me. And Yellow Submarine, this movie just kind of frightened me as a kid. So, <laughs> But there is the Yellow Submarine. I'm getting it real late. You've all seen this. There it is. Yellow Submarine. We all live in a... You've heard it before. Got the CRX in white. I think we saw this in red, the last color that was out. Again, believe that is the N case. Yeah, that's N case. The 85 Honda CRX. Funny that these Hondas and Nissans are so popular. I've mentioned it before, but every one of my friends that had one of these back in the 90s, those cars just fell apart. <laughs> they just, there are no, we did see a CRX on the road the other day, and I think that's the first one I've seen in probably 20 years. They didn't last very long. Here is the Corvette C7R. A really nice looking car. This one is probably one of my favorites from this series or from this uh, case. I will say I think the N case might be the nicest case that has come out all year. There you go, N case. But I do think the N case cars are some of the nicest ones we've seen. Here is the 1916 or 1916 2016 Ford Focus RS. This one from Forza Motorsports in blue. Funny that this one got so much attention with all the branding, but it really is just a blue Ford Focus. Unless there's something about that blue, I don't know. Nothing particularly exciting about it. It does have an interior, it's hard to see there. 
I don't know why I'm showing you the back, but there it is. In blue. Just blue. It's funny how branding works. You put fours on it and all of a sudden it's special. <laughs> Here is the Ford Shelby GT3 5. What is that? OR. That is a that is a name. Don't know much about this car. Mine has a little spot on the roof. I should have picked up a different one. Didn't notice that. Nice looking car though. End case, some nice cards. This one was in M case. We already looked at it. The carbonator would not have picked up a second one, except I forgot that it was in M case. It's been so long since I got any cars. I got overly excited and got a couple doubles, but that's carbonator. Uh, bone shaker. I'm actually doing a project on the custom side with some bone shakers, so I picked up a few extras of these uh, that are going to get chopped up, but we'll put this one in the collection. Everybody likes bone shakers. These have gotten very popular all of a sudden for a car that was not popular for a long time. Here is the Renault Sports RS01. This one was in the M case. We already saw it. Another one I picked up an extra, but I do like that car. I think uh, in my top 20 cars of the year, that one might make the list. That is a nice one. We've got ourselves the Baja Bone Shaker. I should put those back to back. Funny that they were in the same case, but there they are. Uh, obviously the Baja Bone Shaker is kind of the four-wheel drive mud truck version of the Bone Shaker. We've got the 69 Dodge Charger 500. In green. Some pretty simple DR uh, tampos on that. That's a nice one. We've got the 70 Camaro. We saw that one in the last uh, M case as well. We've got the Terrain Storm. I do like the look of this car. I like that one. Would love to see that in black. Really like that one. I like those new wheels too. I think the first time we saw those wheels was this year. Really like that. Here's a Nissan. Another one that is just flying off the shelves out here. 96 Nissan 180SX Type X. Uh, this one uh, came out a while though. This isn't an N case car, I don't think. This is, oh yeah, an F case car. That's funny. That was mixed in there with the new ones. I don't think I saw any other F case cars, but there is that one. Here's a fun one. We've got the 67 Austin minivan. Only saw one of these. I, I did not get the impression these were flying off the shelves, but I only saw one of them. Maybe there were just a few cases, and one case just had one, and the other case didn't have them, but that is pretty neat. We've got the Acura NSX. This one in red. I don't think we've seen this one in red before. This is N case, right? Yeah, it's, it is N case. Yep. That's probably the nicest color, I think, for that car we've seen. Seventy-three BMW 3.0 CSL race car. Names, man, they are getting longer and longer. Uh, wouldn't be surprised if this one's a little bit harder to find, although the BMWs haven't been flying off the shelves out here. I like that one. That one is cool. Here's a Honda Odyssey, and I do not believe this was a few cases ago, right? That is an L case car. So, oops, sorry about that. That is an L case car. That's the Honda Odyssey. That is another one that's surprising to me has been popular. Here is the Hot Wheels High School Bus in gold. 
this one part of the Super Chrome series. We've seen this school bus before. This one is one that is pretty good on our downhill track. Top wheels high. Got the custom 69 Volkswagen square back. We saw this color in the M case as well. We also saw it in mint green a few cases ago. It is one of the Hot Wheel art cars with the W there. Another one that I picked up doubles of. Didn't mean to, but well, it happens. Here's Blade Runner. I really like this new model. I don't like these Tampas. The Olympic Tampas haven't really done anything for me, but uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing this one in a different color with a different Tampa scheme maybe next year. I like that one. It's kind of like a hot rod doom buggy thing. I do like that one. Oh, there's another terrain storm. I got two of those. Oops. <laughs> and uh, here is the, this would have been the super for this case, I believe. Not that I have the super here. This is the 2017 Ford GT. Looks an awful like that, a lot like that Acura, but a little supercar, pretty nice looking. McLaren P1, this one time in yellow. I uh, almost did not pick this up. It seems as though I've seen this one before, maybe a few cases ago. I don't know. It is an N case car, but uh, I looked back at my review for M case and it wasn't in there, so maybe it's a new one. Whoops. Here is surprisingly my son's favorite one from this, and that is Mad Props. He just loves this one for some reason. I don't know why. Try to get into the mind of a 10 year old. I have no idea. I guess Hot Wheels is much better at it than me. He has been willing to just do any work around the house for this particular one. He's never even liked Mad Props before. I don't know. So I'm taking advantage of it. <laughs> Having him do a little bit of extra work before I give that one to him. Uh, last in this group is the custom Bronco. And uh, we have seen this one before. Quite honestly, I don't even remember the color of it. This time in blue. Kind of an odd stance they've got on it. I guess it might, you know, it's not stance. It's that that front fender is so opened up on it. Just looks odd. That is also N case, you can see. So with that in mind, I did get some other stuff I wanted to show, and I'm just going to show these real quick. I, I don't know if this sale was at every Target, but I, I kind of just glanced over and I noticed that the M2s, and it was only the M2s that are in the, uh, the blister packs like this. Because you guys know M2s, they, sh they either sell them in the little plastic containers or these blister packs, which don't have a plastic container but do still have the base. The car screwed on to that base, by the way. They had these on sale for $2 off. And... Uh, no, I take that back. It wasn't $2 off. They were they were on sale for $1.99 each. And as you'd imagine, there wasn't much of a selection, but I have had my eye on this particular car <laughs> has been sitting at my Walmart for, I swear, three months. And I just am not going to pay the $5 that these usually go for, $4.50 or whatever it is. And uh, But for a Charger Daytona, you guys know I love that car. I picked this up for two bucks. That's the cost of only two Hot Wheels. I'll pick that up. Any day, I picked that one up. And one of my other favorite cars, not crazy about this particular color, probably why it was still there. And that is one of these Cudas. That is a 71 Plymouth Cuda. But for two bucks, yeah. Now, I don't need any more rubber wheels for customs, but. For you guys that are looking for rubber wheels for customs, these wheels certainly are good ones. And for two bucks, well, that's better than a $5, you know, pop culture car from Hot Wheels. So that is going to do it for this little 
episode. Thanks everybody for watching. I will see you in the next episode. Bye bye.